What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Upstate Speed Test. Today we're in one of the most remote places I could think of. This is Jones Park on State Line Road in the town of Vestal. And the reason we came here is to try a brand new iOS feature called Messages via Satellite. And what it does is exactly what the name sounds like. If you don't have any service, you can send text messages, iMessages, and emergency messages via nothing but satellite. So today we came to an area that I know has no Verizon service at all. And what we're gonna do is test that messages via satellite feature and see exactly how it works and how good it is. And then we'll also test the other providers and see if they have service in an area that Verizon doesn't. So make sure to give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe down below, and let's get started on this really interesting experiment Make sure you guys watch till the end so you don't miss anything and get us to those 4,000 watch hours we need. I think we might be there already, but we're getting close. So yeah, watch the video twice if you'd like. Today's video is brought to you by Circled In. Circledin.com lets you split the cost of a wireless family plan from major providers like Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile, and even from prepaid providers like Cricket or Google Fi. And now they've even added the capability for you to split the cost of a streaming service from places like Netflix, HBO, Hulu. Check them out at circledin.com. Thank you again for supporting the channel. All right, so we've got the phone fired up. We're in an area where we have kind of a view of the sky, but it is a little obstructed. So we're gonna go into the text messaging. We get a prompt that says, check for messages and reply via satellite. We're gonna hit connect to satellite. Whoops. I'm gonna try sending a message that just says hello. The prompt went away for some reason. Let me try that again. Okay, so connect to satellite. It says try to get a clear view of the sky. So the message went away. So to get it back, I had to go into the uh, little bunny ear menu here and get a, try to get a clear view of the sky. It says it's looking for signal. All right, I think it just found the satellite. And it's so cool. It actually is directing me where to look for the satellite. So it had me turn to my right. All right, there we go. Keep pointing at satellite, we're connected. So now I'm gonna go into messages. And I'm gonna hit try again on that message I just tried to type. And let's see. Hello, I'm texting you from a satellite in the middle of Jones Park. All right, and now it's gonna try to send that message. And if you notice up in the notch or the uh, whatever the, whatever you call that thing these days, you've got a little green dot that lets you know you're still connected. And there we go. We just sent a text message via satellite. That's pretty awesome. As far as I know, you can't send picture messages, probably with good reason, because those are a little bit larger in terms of data usage. Uh, they do take a lot more to send. <clears throat> let me try, let me send a message to another family member here. Uh, let's see. Hey, I'm texting you from a satellite. Let's see if the message goes through. Now, you'll notice the satellite messages are coming up in green. I'd actually prefer that they stay blue so I know it's going through as an iMessage. And they, uh, there it goes. We just sent another message. So they do take quite a while to go through. Uh, let's see. And you do get a disclaimer, Scott may not be able to reply from devices where the software hasn't been updated. So again, this is running iOS 18 public beta number two. And that's how we're able to do this. Uh, beta, I think, it, I believe it worked in beta number one as well, but I'm not sure. Who can I send a message to that does not have an iPhone? And man, I know a lot of people that have iPhones, so it's gonna be kind of hard uh, to find somebody. Man, like literally everybody in my, whoop. And see, now we're getting prompted 
to turn more to the right to catch up with the satellite. And there's a disclaimer there too, terrain, building, or trees can block the connection. And so unfortunately, being in a park, you're gonna be playing uh, whack-a-mole trying to keep connected to the satellite here. I guess I'll go back to my wife. So unfortunately, in the middle of a big park like this, it's hard to get a clear view of the sky, and I'm finding it hard to send you this message, lol. Alright, let's see. Alright, there we go, we got connected to the satellite again. And now it's attempting, I hope it's attempting to send the message. The send button is kind of grayed out. Let's go back over here. Looks like I need to turn just to the right a little, which I just did. <laughs> it's like the old days where you had to hold your phone in the air to get a signal. Uh, it doesn't appear to be making much of a difference. Oh, there we go, I'm connected. And now the satellites turn to the left. There we go, connected. Keep pointing at satellite, this can take a few minutes. There we go, connected. It seems like it's really struggling in this location to stay connected to the satellite which is very understandable because there's a lot of trees in the way here. I'm honestly impressed that we got a message to go through it all. There we go, oh, nope. So every once in a while you get this message here that it's basically given up. <laughs> Try again to get a clear view of the sky. Turn, all right, turn this way. <clears throat> All right, connected. There we go. I mean, the graphic on this thing is just amazing that it can, like, point you precisely to the right place you need to be to get this message through. Huh. Well, it says I'm connected. Being in the woods like this, I feel like I'm getting eaten alive by bugs. It's a beautiful park, by the way. If you've ever been to upstate New York, uh, there's a lot of trails that go through the park in various places. I chose the Creek Trail just to make sure I got to somewhere where there was absolutely no service. Overall, what's my opinion of messages via satellite? I think it's an amazing feature. Like growing up as a kid, when I had a little flip phone that I would text from, if I could send a text message in the middle of a forest with no service, I would have been thrilled. That being said, it's a little bit difficult of a service because you got to like be positioned specifically at that exact point that the satellite's sending the signal to. And as you saw in the video, I've done some crazy loop-de-loops trying to get the signal to stay connected. Now, uh, that also being said, uh, you know, it's better than nothing. If you have no other option and you could use this service to send it, get a text message out to a friend or check on a loved one, you know, like here in a park hiking, that's phenomenal. So what we're gonna do next is let's see if any other providers have any kind of service here in this park at all. And uh, yeah, let's try that. So we were on Verizon. This park is a complete dead zone for Verizon. So let's go to, uh, let's check out T-Mobile. So right now the modem is refreshing the signal as I'm getting attacked by bugs here. Yeah, T-Mobile and Verizon are both coming up no service. Let's switch over to AT&T next. All right, we've switched over to AT&T and same thing, AT&T also no service whatsoever in this location. Now, down in the parking lot, I was able to get a bar of a uh, bar or two of Verizon service, but uh, when I tried to run a speed test or really do anything with the connection, it was kind of it was kind of poo-pooing me that it, it couldn't connect. And there we go, I get another prompt to connect to satellite. 
whoop, went past it. There you go. So yeah, uh, messages via satellite, pretty freaking cool.